Once Ralph was diagnosed with cancer, we felt like we were in a race, trying to find the best treatment, the best doctors. We didn't know where to go. There are not many options if you have head and neck cancer, and you don't know how long are you gonna be alive. He decided to retire from his job and completely focus on his diagnosis, and he started the foundation to help others and to make sure that not everybody would go through the same thing as he was going through. One of the incredible things about uh, Ralph Whitworth was that he, he realized that what he was doing in all likelihood wouldn't help him. And despite that, he was willing to not only give money to give financial resources, but an incredible amount of time and wisdom and acumen to move all of these projects forward. I just had this uh, philosophy, uh, maybe from my mom, but you know, if you're walking along a trail or a street and you see a child, you don't just walk by. And so when you come upon something like this in life, then you work on it. Ralph and I had a vision three years ago of bringing cutting edge medicine, advanced research to San Diego to our home, and now it's real. We are developing novel therapies, immunotherapies, combinations of therapies that would bring hope to patients who didn't have hope before. What philanthropy allows is it allows us to move forward very rapidly in exciting ways that we wouldn't be able to do using conventional sources. The Immunotherapy Foundation Advanced Cellular Therapy Laboratory is a great example of something that we were able to build in less than two years that would have normally taken about a decade to do. Now we are able to bring all of this to San Diego. Best doctors, best treatments, and I am proud of that and I am sure he is too. Knowing that many of these cancers that we see in the head and neck region now are related to this virus called HPV or human papillomavirus, if we can turn the tables and we can learn to use the immune system, re-engage it so that it begins to eliminate those cells that are infected by the virus and now they're cancer cells, well, we can begin to think about cures when we didn't imagine that was possible even a short time ago. Immunotherapy has the ability to be very specific and really just affect the cancer cell. And what we're trying to leverage in this laboratory is to identify on a patient-specific basis which mutations that occur in the tumor can be recognized by their immune system and then target them. What it takes is a dedicated team of scientists and clinicians to harness that knowledge in a way that we can deliver a better, more refined product so we ultimately can put ourselves as treating oncologists out of business. We can begin with a facility here to refine and develop new technologies to begin to attack uh, cancers across the board, including HPV-positive head and neck cancer. So when we look at the HPV-related cancers and their global impact, which impacts over 600,000 people each year, men and women, you know, people are getting vaccinated, but not enough boys are, certainly, and um, not enough girls are. So we're still far below what they call herd immunity, which is what's going to prevent this type of cancer. Everyone's at risk for HPV-related cancers. And it's preventable, so please vaccinate your kids. Now, for the first time ever, we're applying immunotherapy because we understand the immune system at a much deeper level. It took a long time to get there. And we're beginning to see extraordinary responses that, uh, quite honestly, I would never have predicted. But it's a great time to be a part of it. We're not standing at the threshold. We are in this new world. And all of these things have come together at this point in history to transform how medicine is practiced with respect to cancer. I feel a great support from our community, and I could never have done this alone. I would like to thank all of our donors. We wouldn't be able to accomplish this without you. We're all here at an inflection point in this disease, and we can make a difference in whether it helps people 20 years from now, or 10 years from now, or five years from now, or how soon. It will help people. This will be a major impact on this disease.